This is Trump Loy on ThinkTech, connecting the dots on what our president is doing and how it compares with what has gone before and what it portends for the future. It's not a pretty picture. It's no joke that Donald Trump is at the center of the first dozen headlines on any given day. After all, he works at it and cares deeply about himself and his ratings. Shades, again, of The Apprentice. Some of these headlines seem to be make work, not only to bring attention to himself, but to distract us from the other things he is doing. What he is doing with the hand behind his back, which he really doesn't want us to know about. It's the height of demagoguery, and he's good at it. This week, he resumed his attack on Hillary Clinton, continuing the election drama, however inconsequential at this point. Could he be hiding something, trying to throw us off? The press seizes on all his zigzag bait, but what about focusing on the matters of real concern, about the matters that really affect our country and our future? And this week, he, quote, declared opioids a public health emergency. When did he become aware of that? At a time when he is regularly victimizing immigrants, minorities, and the press, encouraging nuclear proliferation, ignoring flood victims, and undermining health coverage for millions, do you really think he cares about opioids? Rather, he is camouflaging what he's doing to rip off the middle class with a huge tax break for the rich and to move the hot light away from the central threat he faces, the investigation of how he collaborated with Russia to manipulate the vote, and recent indictments over that. He's brilliant at changing the subject and feeding the press with a showman's parade of lies and irrelevancies. That said, now we can surely expect new distractions. Simply stated, as Americans, our job and civic obligation is to be informed and not to be misled, to separate the wheat from the chaff, to know when he is distracting us, and to find out what he is distracting us from and why, and to focus on the reality rather than the smokescreen. Anyway, thanks for watching Trump Loy. We'll be back with more as the Trump administration further unfolds and unravels going forward.